Welcome to Hardamail Dental Clinic. My name is Julia Basel and today I will speak about root canal treatment. Our teeth do not just consist of the crowns, which you can see in your mouth, but as well of the roots which hold them in the bone, as you can see in this x-ray here. Inside of the crown and the roots is a space where you find tissues, the so-called pulp, consisting of blood vessels, lymphatic system and nerve tissue. In the coronal part, this space is called the pulp chamber. In the roots, the pulp sits in the so-called root canals. If bacteria find their way into this space through decay, loose fillings, bad fillings or crown margins, or even a crack in the tooth caused by trauma, the nerve gets inflamed. If this inflammation proceeds, the nerve tissue dies and bacteria can reach down to the tip of the root and cause an abscess in the bone. This will show on an x-ray with a dark spot or area at the tip of the root. This inflammation of the nerve can go ahead with discomfort, varying from periodically emerging pain, which may be lingering for some minutes, or dull ache, sensitivity to hot or cold, or both, sensitivity on biting, or constant severe pain. Sometimes though, one does not feel any pain at all. And only an x-ray may even by coincidence reveal the signs of an infection in the bone, with this dark area surrounding the tip. Or a sinus tract emerges, like you see in this picture with a little bump next to the tooth. Through this sinus tract, discharge accumulating at the tip of the root in the bone finds its way out to the oral space and gets released, taking the pressure and the pain of the tooth. When the nerve is irreversibly inflamed or has died, root canal treatment has to be performed so the tooth can be saved and stay in the mouth. The microscope allows a 25 times magnification of the treatment area, so you can see the very small structures inside of the tooth. In this case, you see the entrance cavity to the inner space of the tooth with tissue still inside and you may even see the little entrances to the root canals. As a first step, one has to establish the length of the root canals. After that, all the canals have to be cleaned of the tissue and widened with specialized files and the whole canal system has to be disinfected with a variation of disinfecting solutions. Here you see what it looks like once the canals have all been thoroughly cleaned and dried and are now ready to be filled. The filling material is called gutta perca and can be heated up inside of the tooth so it gets soft and can be adapted to the root canal walls to guarantee a proper seal. To finish off, the cavity will be first be closed with a filling. Later, after a certain monitoring period, the tooth should be restored with an overlay, partial crown or full crown, depending on how big the damage to the tooth was before the treatment started. That is because root canal treated teeth are more likely to fracture. As the nerve was removed, the tooth can now not feel anymore how hard you bite on it, so stronger forces may cause it to crack. On top, mostly the reason for nerve problems arise because the tooth has already a big cavity or decay so it is weakened in its structure already. Here you see two teeth before the treatment and then after root canal treatment was performed. All the canals have been cleaned and filled to the full length and the teeth have been restored so far with composite fillings. Thank you very much for your attention.